Hi, I am Dr. Naveen Kini, a pediatrician from Bengaluru and today I am going to be talking to you about masks and their importance. In a recent interview given to the JAMA Network, that is the Journal of the American Medical Association, Dr. Carlos Del Rio, a leading expert in infectious diseases, has said that in the absence of a vaccine, the closest we have towards protection against this virus is a mask. And the mask is our vaccine for now. As we get to understand this coronavirus infection better, it is being realized that most of the infection is transmitted by droplets and these are spread when an infected person coughs, sneezes, laughs or even talks when he is near to you. The mask helps to prevent droplets coming out from an infected person and also prevents the person opposite him from inhaling. So it forms a double layer of protection. And this is particularly important because many people with this coronavirus illness are asymptomatic in the sense that they don't know that they have the illness, nor does the person opposite them. So prevention of spread from such people is very well done by a mask. Let me try and show you the different kinds of masks. The best and the one that is most widely used by the medical fraternity is the N95 mask. This mask is not meant for the lay public and it should not be worn because they are meant for single use and if they have to be reused, they have to be sterilized properly using ETO. The next kind of mask that is available is the common surgical mask. This has three layers and these are meant for single use only. The mask that is most suitable for use by the general public is what is called the cloth mask. I would recommend the ones which have ties, which you can tie around your face so that they sit securely and also the temptation to pull it down while talking or when you are uncomfortable is reduced. The elastic ones are not really recommended because over time they become loose and tend to droop down over the nose, thus not providing a complete seal. Tie it securely behind you with both the straps and make sure that they cover both your nose as well as the under surface of your chin and a good way to make sure that the mask, the cloth mask is of good quality is to blow. If you blow hard and you can't feel the air that is coming out of your mouth, that means it is providing a good barrier. Cloth masks have the advantage of being reusable. At no time should you touch the surface of the mask trying to adjust it. The reason why you shouldn't touch your mask is because these masks act as a filter and the virus remains on the outer surface of your mask. The moment you touch it, the virus gets onto your hands and without your knowledge, you may touch your eyes leading to the virus entering your body. You may also carry the virus back to your near and dear ones at home. Therefore, if you happen to touch your mask, immediately wash your hands with soap and water or with a sanitizer. Please remember that you need to wash your masks after every use and therefore it pays to have at least 3 or 4 masks at home per person so that you always have a washed mask ready whenever you are going out. It's quite distressing to see people walking around on the roads without a mask or a improperly worn mask where the mask doesn't cover the nose or is just hanging down their chin. I agree that masks can be irritating and cause a little difficulty in breathing, but believe me, you get used to it. So please always wear a mask. This coronavirus is here to stay and we just have to find ways to learn to live with it. It is up to us, the citizens, to give the government a hand in containing this virus. And the best way that we can do is to wear a mask. The other things that you can do is, of course, wash hands properly, sterilize all the surfaces that you have in your house, avoid unnecessary um, meeting with people and, of course, 
maintain social distance, a distance of at least one meter between people whenever you travel outside. Thank you for watching this and stay safe.